want to do four examples with you regarding converting weights within metric units. So let's start with part A, convert 250 micrograms to milligrams. Now I've got to think about what direction I want to go in. Am I multiplying or dividing by a thousand? And I always use a visualization like this to help me where I have my standard staircase with kilograms on the top and then it goes down to grams, milligrams and micrograms. And you can see here that going from micrograms to milligrams, I will need to divide by a thousand. Let's do this by hand first, and then we can check with the calculator. So we have 250, we want to divide by a thousand, which is the same as taking the decimal point, where it is on the right, and moving it three places to the left, because that's the natural direction if I'm going upstairs. So that equals point two five zero, oh. And I can tidy that up in two ways. I can like to put a naught there. I never like to leave a decimal by itself. So I can write it as naught point two five zero, oh, or even tidier, naught point two five. And I've converted to milligrams. So there it is. Let's check this all with a calculator. Make sure it's turned on. I have 250 divided by 1000 equals 0.25. And you can see the calculator has actually simplified it all for me. Okay, first one done. Okay, next question. 1.5 grams to milligrams. So we have one. 0.5 grams to milligrams. I'm going downstairs. So I expect to move that decimal point three places now to the right. One, two, three. So I expect the dot to end up there. And I can see I've now jumped outside of the number. So I must put some extra digits in there. And they'll be replaced by zeros. There's two spaces, so I'm putting two zeros. So I can see my answer is going to be equals 1500 oh, oh, point and I can tidy that up either by putting point O oh, or probably more simple than that is just 1500 milligrams. So again let's check with the calculator. I have clear my decks. I've got one 0.5 grams to milligrams is going downstairs it's times a thousand times one thousand equals one thousand five hundred and my calculator shows a, a weird comma between the one and the five to, to indicate that it is thousands which is not entirely clear okay that's that one done next question part c 240 grams to kilograms so I have 240 grams going to kilograms. Well, grams to kilograms is upstairs. So I need to move my decimal three places to the left. Again, I have a whole number. So I put it on the right hand side to begin with. And then I move that dot three places to the left. I'm always careful to make sure I go over and between digits. And you can see the new place for the decimal is there on that left hand side. So my answer is point two. Four, oh. And I can tidy up by not leaving a decimal by itself and even observing that a neater answer would be 0.24 kilograms. That final zero is not needed because it's called a trailing zero. Okay, check with the calculator. Play the decks. 240 grams to kilograms was going up the stairs so I'm dividing by a thousand divide 1000 equals 0 0.24 so we're happy with that final question 0 0.02 milligrams to micrograms so I've got my 0.02 
milligrams to micrograms. Well, that's going downstairs, so I'm tangent by a thousand. So I must move that decimal three places to the right. One, two, three. Again, I've jumped outside the number, but this time by only one extra step, so I only require one zero. And you can see where the decimal has now ended up. It's ended up here. So my answer, if I were just to start constructing my answer, the 0, 0,020, I can do quite a bit of tidying up there. I don't need these first two zeros, they're called leading zeros. And I can either write that answer as 20.0 or more simply just 20. So the answer is 20 micrograms. So when you're writing micrograms in a final answer, you're not allowed to use the old-fashioned MCG abbreviations. So I've written that as micrograms fully. Okay, final check on the calculator. Clear it. 0 0.02 milligrams to micrograms. I'm going downstairs, so that's times 1,000 times 1,000 equals 20. They put a little dot after the 20 there, but it simply is the same as 20, 20 micrograms. So there we have it. Every question in converting weight has come down to a decision of either multiplying or dividing by a thousand, or equivalently by hand, moving the decimal point either three places to the right or three places to the left. And that's all because they ask us to move up or down that staircase by one step only. It's a feature of the metric system, indeed the reason why the metric system was adopted because of this simple ratio of factors of 10 between adjacent units. Thanks for watching.